गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट दिस इज आवर हिस्ट्री क्लास एंड आवर चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन इज गोइंग ऑन द चंद ग्रुप द गुप्ता एम्पायर द गोल्डन एज एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडी अबाउट द चंद्रगुप्त फर्स्ट समुद्र गुप्त चंद्रगुप्त सेकेंड एंड इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मेन फीचर ऑफ द गुप्ता एज पेज नंबर हंड्रेड फर्स्ट वन इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन द गुप्ता एम्पायर वॉज इफेक्टिवली एडमिनिस्टर्ड बाय द किंग्स इट इज लुक आफ्टर बाय द किंग्स किंग्स हैड सुप्रीम पावर एंड अथॉरिटी एंड वर असिस्टेड बाय अ काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर टू कैरी आउट द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वर्क टू कैरी आउट द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वर्क इट वॉज द ड्यूटी ऑफ द किंग टू अपहोल्ड द लॉ एंड ट्राई केसेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ Brahmana priest. Now many officials were appointed at different levels of the administration. The empire was divided into many parts or provinces, or bhuktis, and princes were appointed as governor of these provinces. A group of officials called Kumara Matyas assisted the princes. in handling the work they were and they were appointed by the king provinces were further divided into district or vaishyas vaishyapati had over each vaishya village were the smallest administrative unit village had men look after the village independently administration was fully decentralized in gupta age officials had a lot of freedom to administer their territories efficiently now the society the people were honest and the prosperous in the gupta age they lived a happy and secure life crimes were rare and there were no capital punishment people were law abiding they did not even look their house even Uh, when they went out locked their house even when they went out which shows the feeling of security among the people in the gupta age the gupta dynasty period is regarded as the golden age of india there were there was peace and harmony in the society however the condition of lower class or lower caste people were not good in this age there were four main castes namely brahmanas vaishyas kshatriyas and shudras which were further divided into several sub castes people of lower caste were considered untouchable and impure they lived outside the town women were also considered inferior human beings they had no right to education they were married at an early age their life revolved around the male members of the household widows had an inferior position and widows also have a very inferior position now the economy agriculture was the chief occupation in the gupta age and land revenue was the main source of income apart from agriculture other occupations like textile art and craft flourished in this age trade and commerce flourished both internal as well as external trade made the gupta empire rich and prosperous india trade mode most of its articles uh, with foreign lands like south east asia west asia africa and some mediterranean countries broch sopora and tamra lipitti tamluk were the main port which had it uh, handled overseas trade main items of export include spices pearls ivory perfume textiles precious stones etc these articles were mainly exported in exchange for gold trade however declined now toward the end of the gupta period mainly due to the invasion of the huns now educations education was 
encount uh, encouraged by the gupta king many universities like nalanda takshila vallabhi and ujjaini become famous education institute of this period liberal grants were given to these institution buddhism hinduism grammar logic and medicines were the main subject taught in this university now nalanda university something about the nalanda university nalanda university was the important center of buddhist learning it was founded by the kumar gupta in modern day bihar it became famous during the reign of harsha it was the first residential university of the world and more than 10000 student and 2000 teacher lived here only male students were admitted in this university after being interviewed by the monks the library of this university was present in three buildings one of which was known as ratna sagar meaning the ocean of gems nalanda and takshila were two popular university which attach student from the foreign country also attract the attracted the students from the foreign country from foreign country peoples students come and study in the nalanda and the takshila university so student that's all from today's class the rest chapter we will discuss in the next class thank you